Consider using a realtor when selling your home. Home sellers who don't use an agent are twice as likely as agent-assisted sellers to be unhappy with the results of their sale. Home sellers who choose to work without a real estate agent are twice as likely as agent-assisted sellers to be unhappy with the results of their sale. Those who opt to do it themselves for sale by owner, also known as FSBO, forego an agent to save money and a variety of other reasons. But the study's findings suggest a majority of FSBO sellers would have an easier and more lucrative sale if they worked with a real estate agent. In hindsight, more than half of FSBO sellers wish they'd worked with an agent to sell their home. FSBO Savings versus Profit Loss As the internet makes listing a home without an agent easier than ever, Americans are more tempted to sell by owner. The number grows one reason homeowners consider listing FSBO is to save money. However, any savings may come at a steep cost. Sellers who worked with an agent earned an average profit of $207,500, while FSBO sellers earned an average profit of $128,500. The $79,000 profit gap far outpaces any potential savings FSBO sellers might realize by foregoing an agent. Many FSBO sellers save little on commission while losing more on their home sale price. Why FSBO sellers avoid agents? Many FSBO sellers, however, may not care about leaving money on the table. They are simply averse to working with a real estate agent. 24% of respondents said they had a bad experience with their last agent, while 23% said they simply don't trust agents. Although the number one reason FSBO sellers avoid using an agent is to save money, 58% said they'd accept at least $15,000 below asking price to avoid using an agent. Around 44% said they'd accept at least $20,000 below asking price, and 29% said they'd accept at least $25,000 below asking. FSBO sellers have regrets. Regrets are common among FSBO and agent-assisted sellers, but the nature of those regrets differs radically. About one in four FSBO sellers wish they received more offers, making it the most common regret. In fact, unrepresented sellers were almost twice as likely as represented sellers to say they didn't receive multiple offers. In addition, 24% of FSBO sellers regret that the buyer got the better end of the deal. 23% regret that they didn't time the sale of their home with their next home purchase and 22% regret that they listed their home when the market was down. Agent benefits. Agents say FSBO sellers underrate their services. The biggest struggle was getting potential buyers to the home. The FSBO sellers either didn't get any buyers to the home or got very few. It's tough to sell your home if no one knows it's available. Agents bring so much value to a transaction that FSBO sellers miss out on. The first thing they bring is pricing knowledge. The problem with most FSBO sales is that the seller prices the home too high or too low, which ultimately affects the value they will get. The simple law of supply and demand contributes to other agent benefits. Agents who work the local area usually have a large set of potential buyers, so the buyer pool becomes much higher, which in turn brings more competition and higher prices. Agents use extensive marketing to sell homes and connect sellers with reputable service providers, such as professional photographers, who make listings as enticing as possible to potential buyers. I hope you found this information beneficial. I am Keith Bailey Realtor, 35 years of real estate experience right here. Century 21 All Points Realty, Destin, Florida. Be sure to tap that subscribe button for future local market updates, tips, and advice. It's free.